Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this reading is all about where am I heading? Now let me explain what we mean by that. So this would be a timeless reading whenever you are attracted to come see this video. Try to intuitively feel out whether you want group one, group two, or group three. These are full decks here. These have not been shuffled. I'm going to do a live shuffle. Okay, so these are just the decks that we're going to be using. But tune into your intuition. Which one do you feel is the biggest message for you right now? One, two, or three. Now, when we say, where am I heading? This message would pertain to if you stay in your current energy, this is where you're heading. Okay, this does not guarantee an outcome. This is not predicting the future. This is just letting you know what path you're heading down. Okay, so let's begin. Okay, group one, I'm just going to do a shuffle here. And let's see if you were to stay in your current energy, where would you be heading? Oh, wow. Okay. So there are those two cards. We'll pick two from here and one from the chakra deck. Patience. Oh boy. <laughs> Everybody loves to get the patience card, right? All right, and then we have the chakra deck. So this is where you're heading. If you stay in your current energy, that doesn't mean in your current circumstances, but basically in your current, oh, okay, that was just me dropping the deck. Never mind. <laughs> um, if you just stay with your current mindset, uh, your current frequency. All right. Hmm. Nice. This is very Archangel Michael right here. So I'm going to tell you right off the bat. <laughs> You're heading in a good direction for the most part. Let me see what the whole message here is. Live your purpose. Let the money flow in. Patience and clarity. So when we say this is where you're heading, this doesn't say you don't have to do anything. What you need to do is maintain your energy. Yes. So this is like big amplifying energy. You're about to have a breakthrough and an understanding. The way to maintain or to even, you know, stay in this clarity kind of space. 25 reduces to seven. So it's very archangelic energy around this. You have gotten some clarity that something that you're doing right now is not working for you. Yes whether that's in health, money, um, career, what have you. Okay. I just knocked out my earring here. <laughs> Put that back in. They're very large hoops. I just, ugh. okay. So let's start. My attention's going right to this card right here. This is the indigo third eye kind of aspect. The number is 25 reduces to seven. That's very archangelic energy. And this clarity, it's cutting through the nonsense. And it's saying, you know what? I know how I want to live. If there's something in your life that's not working, if there's something that you feel very, very stuck about, Archangel Michael is all about clearing the path, okay? So clearing some toxicity, clearing um, an old mindset, okay? So if you can do that, if you can, you know, a lot of you are already kind of in this energy. That's the whole point of this reading. But if you can maintain that and keep working on it, developing your intuition, look at these crystals on here. That's all about purification, amplification. What you think of is amplifying. What you feel is amplifying. But you know where you want to go. We have pyrite, let the money flow in. This could be like, I'm very, very clear that I'm tired of living in lack. I am very, very clear that I'm tired of living what other people say is the right way to live and I'm gonna go my own way or I'm going to take a turn 
one way or another. You're taking a different approach, okay? But this is talking about prosperity. This is definitely saying that you're now getting clear on what path to take, okay? So here's Moonstone. Live your purpose. Look at this. You're getting clarity. <laughs> I love this. You're getting clarity on your purpose. What are you here for? Um, why did you incarnate? And this is very lunar energy. So this is very Archangel Haniel. This is very Archangel Ariel. Uh, patience. I mean, shoot, you can pick just about any Archangel for that. Archangel Sandalfin comes to mind. So the Moonstone is looking at your emotions right now and evaluating. Okay. Again, this is indicating that you've already done a lot of this. This is what to expect over here. Okay. This is... <laughs> just remember this is going to take time I guess is what we're saying so the moonstone is saying emotionally you know that you're not being fulfilled emotionally you know you need to take better care of yourself um you've realized that you you want to start living that's how I want to put it I, you realize that you want to start living you don't want to be in lack anymore I want to do something that's more in accordance with my intuition and what I'm feeling here though this is the tricky part, okay? The patience. <laughs> so it could be, you know, Moonstone could indicate that maybe you're healing from some discomfort, uh, discomfort around a situation, and you just want to get going. Maybe it's a business idea. Maybe it's a creative project. Maybe you want to move. Maybe um, this isn't like a love-heavy kind of thing here. It's more about how you live, how you exist, your purpose. Now, your purpose isn't just career. Your purpose is who you love and who loves you. Who do you connect with? Um, what do you find in life to savor and to enjoy? Can you make sacred time out of everything that you do, even things that are considered mundane? Can you integrate some soul into that? Okay. So, gosh, I keep coming back to this card. This is wild. It's going to take time. It's going to take a lot of time, actually. Uh, you're looking, when, whenever you watch this video, it could be up to a year, okay, for things to really turn the way that you want them to, to full fruition. That doesn't mean that you don't start implementing something, but it could be, like, let's say you start a business, it could be a year before you see the success that you would like. Or if you're starting a book, it could be a year before you complete the book. Yeah, there's a year cycle going on here. And this also indicates lots of different directions. Lots and lots and lots of little things here that you might want to try. But there's one very specific, bold direction you're heading in. And if you can be patient, and if you can be manifesting from the heart, then this could be very, very well aspected. I'm telling you. But you have to follow your intuition. If you do not follow your intuition, you're going to end up, uh, you know, sort of jumping to conclusions about what you think you should have, <laughs> right? I, I kind of want clarification cards. Let's get more on this. I'm going to get the botanical one out here. Oh, how many cards are there? Three. You're getting three. <laughs> and sorry, I realized I was off camera uh, shuffling. Sorry about that. So this one is persistence. You're... Euphorbia, that's the flower, and African swallowtail. And this one is white Monte Cassino and yellow pansy. So there's that. And we'll put these guys over here. Elegance, Lily, and Archduke. And then this one is endurance. What in the world? So we have persistence, we have endurance. This is cactus, uh, pipe vine, swallowtail. Where can I put you? Can we just tuck them right there? Okay. Um, let me tune into this. The, whatever it is that you're heading towards, whatever area of life that you're working on something, it is a part of your purpose. Whether, that, again, it could be a relationship. It could be how you show up and express and how you take in your life. But you have some very, very clear goals. <laughs> we have this elegance here, you know, following a path of grace. It's right underneath live your purpose. So, it is very much going with the flow, not being forceful, not um, not being careless. That's what I want to say. Don't be careless with this. You know where you want to head now. If you pick this, this spread and you're like, are you kidding me? This is supposed to be about where I'm heading and I don't know what my purpose is. 
you're heading towards knowing and fully getting clarity about your purpose. Okay, so it's coming and it's going to be something that's very lucrative for you. It's going to take time. You got to keep at it. If you don't put the time in, if you don't, the time in isn't just surface level doing the things that you got to do to run a business. The persistence is I'm going to work on my energy every day. I'm going to make sure that I'm cleansing and clearing old arguments, old upsets. I'm going to set those boundaries, right? You have to stay in the game, quote unquote, if you want to see it that way, okay? Because this is what is going to bring you, you know, let's call it success. I mean, we could definitely call it success, but definitely have you on the right path for your purpose and doing so with beauty and grace and elegance. This is nice, but you have to remain serious. Um, not serious. I mean, you can, <laughs> you can enjoy your life, right? But if you start to go, eh, I just don't feel like putting the work in. Eh, I don't feel like it. Eh, I don't want to do it. Eh, you know, you start doing that stuff and it's going to all fall apart. Okay. That's why we say this is where you're heading if you maintain this kind of energy all right if you like it <laughs> okay so i hope that made sense i hope it was helpful let's move on to group two okay group two let's see where you are heading if you stay within your current energy okay <laughs> so you might be feeling a little stuck here because i feel like the cards are like extra sticky all right Look at this. Oh, can't take that. That's a mess. Sorry. <laughs> that was loud, but this is how we kind of clear out the deck. Let's see if that helps. Goodness. Okay, so we're going to take that. Garnet, ignite your passion. Yeah, you're feeling stuck about your passion right now. So you'll want to undo that. <laughs> All, right. All right. Something needs to be definitely healed. We have Malachi. It's time to transform. I'm going to take another card from this deck. I'm doing it a little bit differently for each group. So we'll just go with the intuition. Get out of your own way. Tormelated Quartz. So there's a whole lot of holding yourself back right now. And that's where you're heading. You're going to be stuck. You're going to be left unhealed, um, maybe trying to throw your attention outside of you constantly, trying to wait for external things to, ah, I keep, you guys, I keep almost dropping the deck. This did not happen with any of the other readings. Uh, so just be very, very mindful about that. Okay. So going to have to do some work here to get yourself unstuck and make some decisions. Okay. Cause this, this looks like chaos to me. This is going around in circles. I want this. I don't want this. I want this. I don't want this. And this could be in any area of your life. And Garnet is a love crystal as well. It's very grounding. Uh, and it's about, you know, getting in touch with what you love. We'll get some more clarity here. One second. Okay. Pride. Your pride's getting in the way and compassion oh boy yeah so don't go anywhere it's going to be okay <laughs> and we'll start with just getting one card from here and then if we need clarification cards we'll take them oh i know this card right here wants to come out okay here we go this says divine wisdom the number is 36 reduces to nine it's time for completion it's time to be done with something here and what needs to be done is indecision so this indecision is coming from uh what shall i call it all i can call it is fear the fear of success no that's not me yeah i want to bet <laughs> i'm just kidding <laughs> just kidding uh but definitely you're coming from an unhealed place so this has a lot to do with not getting enough compassion not having enough 
people make you feel understood. Not that it's up to them to make you feel understood. You have to understand yourself. But this is like wanting to be peaceful, wanting everyone to just get along and almost fearing that if you do transform, that you're going to displease someone. Like someone's not going to approve. And so you hold yourself back. Yeah. Oh my. Holding yourself back. This is, is see this beautiful blue color? That's the frequency. That's the frequency that you maybe have been working towards. And you, uh, there, there's a feeling here of maybe you feel held back. Held back. I have passions or I had dreams. I had things that I wanted to do. But pride got in the way. How does pride get in the way of your goals? I'm going to displease somebody if I go down that road. Um, I might look foolish if I go down that road. I never wanted to do card readings because I was afraid I was going to get judged. My pride got in the way. And yet, <laughs> once I set that aside and I, I started, you know, listening to my intuition, I ended up doing this kind of work and falling in love with it. So where are you being fearful? Where are you afraid? Where are you afraid to fail? Because pride will play in in that way too. I don't know if I could 100% be successful and so I don't, you know, I don't even want to try. I don't even want to go there, right? So hold on here. They're, they're hovering around the Garnet card. You know, I know we have, what is this? This would be, I guess, the, what is this? Brand new deck. So this would be the Soul Star Chakra here. Um, so that's one chakra above your crown chakra. And they're showing me these two cards related. So getting into that, letting some more of that divine inspiration come in, that divine wisdom come in, but being grounded and knowing your worth, that just keeps coming up. Man, were you, or have you been living a life where you have to constantly prove yourself to prove your worth? But really, see, this is what's being presented right here. I'm confident. I know who I am. I'm blah, blah, you know, that whole thing. And then, and then over here, this is how you really are. You know, flowing, peaceful, beautiful. But maybe you have been taught in life that when you present this part of you, you get pummeled. When you show this, maybe you feel like you're safer. The Malachite comes forward and says, heal that, heal that, okay, and get ready to transform and you will be getting out of your own way, okay. So if you were to stay in your current energy, you're in an energy of pride and fear, uh, a need to ignite your passion, so maybe feeling stuck, just getting ready to transform and knowing that you need to get out of your own way and you can do that by letting some divine wisdom come through. How do you do that? Well, meditation is going to be your friend, okay? And there has to be an intention and a willingness to change. If you do not have a willingness to change, you will remain exactly where you are. That's the whole point of the reading. <laughs> this is where you're heading, right? But if you can allow some of your true nature to come out, this loving, peaceful person who says, hey, I've always kind of liked doing X, Y, and Z. Or I've always had this kind of perspective in life. Ah, right there. This starts to move on out. Okay, this starts to get removed. We come into this energy here. And now Malachite has this energy of, okay, it's like, <laughs> I always imagine it's like going through the washing machine. You know what I mean? Like, okay, we're going to clean you up. It's going to be nice. You know, we're going to do that. But it's a lot of tossing and turning and facing things and, you know, getting help if you need help. Uh, but eventually... You'll get here and you'll learn how to get out of your own way by having a clear sense of who you are and what you want. And this here, I think, is just reminding you, like, again, to be done with false pride. Be done with worrying about how you will be perceived, whether you'll be accepted or not. That's a big one. I won't be accepted, right? But here, this divine wisdom filtering through you is going to help you get in touch with that passion and help you make room 
Yeah, so let me just tune in here. Let's do an overall read on these cards here. They're saying give yourself a chance. You don't have to hide anymore. There's a sense of coming out of the closet. Now, we can see that as with sexuality, or we can see it as coming out of the spiritual closet, because that's also, to a lot of people, still very taboo, right? Coming out of hiding. Some of you have been hiding. I almost, uh, what was that show, Pose, where, I forget, it's been a while since I've seen that show, but one of the characters, um, he is a dancer, but his father disapproves, right? And so he has to make a decision to heal himself into, well, I don't think in the show he gets a decision. I think his character gets kicked out of his home for being gay. Um, but, you know, he ends up going off and living his authentic life. So I don't know why that came up. I was looking at this and it felt like, I want to be a dancer. I want to dance. And <laughs> like someone saying, no, I disapprove. You can't do that. And you find a way to find yourself. Okay. Find a way to live authentically. You hear me say that all the time. But you do this. This is that kind of card of I'm going to be the best. I'm going to be the best. Everybody get out of my way. I'm going to be the best. And nobody responds well to this. Nobody likes this. Okay. This is where everybody is like, oh, you're overcompensating. <laughs> right? And this is where nobody takes you seriously. But here there's, you know, not that this needs to be a factor, but there's an attractiveness to this. And have, when you start having compassion for yourself, you begin there. Now you can get out of your own way. Give yourself some freedom. Cut yourself some slack. If you're watching this and you're somebody who's saying, I just want to be famous, I just want to be famous, I want to be famous, you need to look at that. Because a lot of times people just want to be famous so that they are just loved. So where are you lacking love? Or because they want to prove themselves. What are you trying to prove? That you're worthy? That you're talented? Right? That, that you're something? You are already worthy. And that is what you need to realize now. So that you can free yourself to move on. Get this divine inspiration flowing through you. This is where your authentic... Um, if you want to see it as authentic work, you want to see it as authentic project, authentic voice, you know, all of these things this is very throat chakra here. Have compassion for your message. Have compassion for uh, how you want to show up in this world. And don't allow yourself to get involved in the chaos and being pulled in too many different directions here. There's a lot of peace. This is going to really even you out here if you allow it. Again, this whole reading is contingent upon you being aware and being willing to change and being willing to open up and accept the work that is needed. Okay, so I hope that was helpful. Let's move on to group three. Okay, group three, so let's shuffle your cards. This is where you're heading if you stay in your current energy. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> so nice, so we have Citrine. Oh, beautiful. Oh, you guys are off to a good start. Okay, <laughs> let's, I'm just kind of grabbing intuitively whatever cards feel right for the group that's choosing this. This card wants to come out, so we'll do that. Mm -hmm. This is abundance, this is love. This is like, I ain't taking it off of nobody, okay? <laughs> so, oh man, this little cloth is pretty, but she's, she's, she's a mess, look at that. And I can't even iron it because this is like, selenite in here and I don't know what that does when you put heat on it so whatever we're not going to take any chances <laughs> all right so let's get a couple of cards from here you'll be making some bold moves here this is kind of energy with somebody who is incredibly innovative nope too many okay That just means I dropped the deck, y'all. It's okay. Oh, that card wants to come out. We'll take that one. Spirituality. <laughs> that is a good thing to be in touch with. You might have heard of it. Beauty. <laughs> I already feel a lot of energy around this, so 
We will get to that in just a moment. There it is. Someone else got that. Was it this reading? Maybe it's another reading I'm getting confused with. But anyway, that is the Earth Star Chakra card there. Need to be grounded. Okay, so let's go over this. As I said, citrine is a very abundant crystal. This is like the common one that everybody grabs for when they need to bring in some money, okay? <laughs> and it says, and it says, bring in the light. So citrine says, if you want prosperity, if you want abundance, if you want opportunity, if you want this inspiration to come in, you need to be in a light frequency. So it's going to be very difficult to manifest the things that you really, really want if you're constantly down on yourself, if you're living in fear, if you're fearful that, you know, something's going to be taken away from you or that you're not going to make it, you know what I mean? Like all those things, you're just basically blocking the good that could come. All right. Now, right next to it is Rose Quartz. Open up your heart. This is a love crystal and a prosperity crystal. Okay. <laughs> Those are usually the two bases that people, you know, and usually health as well. But, you know, this is pretty good here. So love and money, that's what we're talking about here. But we don't have to stay shallow with it, right? So love is a love of life. I'm tapping on this one, but I'm <laughs> really trying to point at this one. Uh, Rose Quartz says, heal that inner child. Uh, get your innocence back. Find the love within. You know, reconnect with a partner if you have one. Or, or reconnect with yourself if you're currently single. Uh, but open your heart. It says, open your heart to the beauty of life. Look at this beauty card here. And it's right underneath the Rose Quartz. So it's time to embrace. Life is not, you know, there's a story going on out there. And if you chose this uh, pile of cards and you're saying, no, the, the world is terrible. Ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. Yeah, I know. Okay. But <laughs> like, there are a lot of beautiful people out there. There's a lot uh, to still be very, very grateful for and lots to fall in love with. And that is what you're discovering. Okay. So your current energy, like I said, you're in a frequency of abundance, whether you feel like it or not. Remember, the mind has its own movie script running. The energy has something else going on. So you might be going, wow, these bills are piling up. Oh my, what am I ever going to do? Or, oh my gosh, I'm single. I'm never going to meet anybody. Ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. The soul, do you like my sound effects? The soul says, nah, this is about the time that you start to come into money. This is about the time that you start getting opportunities. This is the time where you really start expressing in the way that you want by bringing light into your world. So this is not a conniving kind of card. This is not someone whose career involves manipulating people in order to make a buck. That's not this. Got to be in the light. Okay. And this is also doing what you love, being around people that you love, making time for people that you love. Lots and lots and lots of self-care. This is very Archangel Ariel kind of energy. Well, there are lots of other Archangels that would be associated with this, I think. But this is Archangel Shamuel, Archangel Raphael. So Archangel Raphael is actually, I don't know that too many people know this, but he's the Archangel of soulmates as well as health and of travel. <laughs> okay, so a combo of Raphael. Be careful of asking for a soulmate because soulmates usually bring all the issues. Yes, things that you have to discover. Uh, but they could be incredibly loving. Uh, and then Archangel Shamuel helps you fall in love with life and helps you live your potential. Gorgeous, gorgeous cards to have right next to each other. Yes, let's not forget this little gem here, spirituality. So this card, you find beauty through seeing the spiritual side of things and taking a spiritual approach to your life. Now that doesn't mean that you just go and get crystals for decoration. I, I know. You, you see my spread here. I have a couple of sparklies, but I don't buy crystals for the sparklies. This one's definitely sparkly. I may have bought her for the sparkly aspect. <laughs> but you can see, like most of these, they're here because of their meaning. Okay, that's rose quartz. Uh, this is uh, rhodochrosite right here. This is pink tourmaline in quartz. 
back here and you know amethyst and you know rhodonite is right you know i think that's another piece of rose quartz you know like a whole thing here but these are very very meaningful so when we say spirituality this isn't let's just go and buy things that are pretty <laughs> right spirituality does nothing if you just go through the motions right you have to connect to the beauty of it connect to the beautiful energy of your spirituality that is your authentic self that is where your innocence is now notice over here what then happens we get a little darker over here it's like here here's your nature this is where you're heading this is all good this this is what's in place but you're going to be met with opposition and black kyanite sets strong boundaries says don't let anybody uproot you remain grounded you're protected by angels remain in your place <laughs> planted where you want to grow and don't let anybody tell you you can't. Uh, I remember when I worked in a corporate environment, there was somebody who was quite jealous that I was going to be leaving the corporation to start my own business. And every day, sometimes twice a day, she would make her way to my desk to remind me of the dangers of freelance work, the dangers of getting on YouTube, and even had the audacity to say, are you afraid people are going to call you fat? It was all just to make me scared and make me turn back and stay, quote unquote, in my place. When I broke away from that place, there are things that I miss about it greatly. There were some beautiful, beautiful people there. But there was also a lot of toxicity and just ridiculous characters, okay? So that's the kind of thing that you might face. You know, this is where you're heading. Okay, so although this isn't necessarily meant to be predictive, it's letting you know that there are some challenges to come. Now, if you're like, oh, of course, we have these gorgeous cards and then challenges. No, you've got this. This is not a big deal for you. <laughs> All right? um, now, if you say, no, setting strong boundaries, that is going to be a big deal for me. I do tend to listen to people's opinions too much. You're coming into a space where you're not taking it anymore. You're coming into a space where this doesn't mean attitude. This just means no thank you. I heard your opinion and no thank you. I do not accept that as my truth. Okay, does that make sense? Now, look at these strong, strong roots here. Look at that. Incredibly grounded, this gorgeous, as I knock the card around, this gorgeous golden sky back there. Um, it makes me think of a sunset behind this tree. And the sun is setting on an old way. The sun is setting on an old habit, an old pattern, an old approach. You're just not accepting it anymore. You're saying, no, that is the old me. This is the new me. The things, this is, I want to come back to this. This is sort of uh, hidden talents or talents that you once had, but you haven't been developing. Okay. So go back to your childhood. What were the things that you really, really loved? What were your dreams back then? And where did people say, you can't? Um, you know, I, I hate to pull another example, but I have one on the ready. So here we go. <laughs> I studied opera when I was younger. And my voice teacher, who wasn't, pardon me for saying this, but she was not a great voice teacher, as I would come to discover, uh, told me that I had better manage my expectations because I was not pretty enough to be an ingenue. So I would never, ever, ever be cast as anything more than a Disney character voice. And in the opera world, that is a huge insult. That's like lowbrow stuff, okay? Which I was like, really? I would take, I would totally do voiceover for Disney. Are you kidding me? Sign me up. <laughs> but according to her, you know, I just wasn't enough. I didn't have a powerful enough voice. I wasn't good enough, all that stuff. So that was incredibly discouraging. And I ended up giving up music for the longest time. Then recently, you know, and I'm in my 40s, okay, in my early 40s. So it was only just recently that I'm like, no, I'm going to go back to singing. I'm going to try to learn piano. I'm going to do these things. And it turns out, am I like singing opera? No, <laughs> probably won't happen. But I'm getting back to the love of the art. And that's kind of what this is. It's like a hidden talent, something that you used to really enjoy and love. You can bring that back and you can give birth to it 
once more. There's a lot of beauty to be had in that. And it's going to really raise your frequency. It's going to help you um, be in that higher, you know, more spiritual realm, being in touch with that spiritual self, right? And you're saying no to the naysayers. You're standing your ground, you're being grounded, and you're being guided by angels to do so. Okay, so I hope that was helpful. We're going to leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care. Bye-bye.